Hi, my name is Thomas Wendt. A lot of people have seen the Kemper profiling amplifier orientation film number one, where Christoph Kemper explains what the concept is and how it works. And some of you have raised the question, um, how does it sound? Well, like this, or just make it sound like your personal 30 year old Fender Twin 2 combo amplifier, which I'm trying to profile right now. This is how it works. Uh, we just go to the profiling mode and now the menu tells me that uh, yeah, I should connect the profiling amplifier with the uh, actual tube amplifier. And this goes like this. The guitar goes into the profiling amplifier, of course. On the back, I have a send which goes to the input of the tube amp in my little booth here. And uh, the microphone picks up the loudspeaker, goes through this Aphex uh, tube preamp AD converter and runs into the record software in the back so that you can hear it. And also back in here that um, the profiler can read the behavior, learn the behavior of that tube amp. So how does that work? Will it work? We will see. We press next and then we get the chance to select the reference amp as the source. And this is the Fender. With the classic behavior. A little bit gargly, the type of distortion. Okay, that's our source. We want to profile this. Uh, we could change some settings here uh, for tweaking the sound of the original amp, but this, this is just the classic behavior we just want to take a profile of. And hitting next, we tell the profiling amplifier that this is a distorted sound and we just say start to start the profiling process. And now some, mag some magical things are happening. Some interesting sounds from outer space are beamed into this tube amplifier. And uh, all the sonic DNA this tube amp has inside is now revealed. Voila, the machine says it's done. So uh, let's see what we have. Um, we go back to the reference amp. This, this means we are playing the Fender. That's the original. This is our profile. Profile. Original. Profile.
Okay, we got it. Uh, let's just store and uh, let's give it a name. Let's make it simple. Uh, we just call it V for victory. Boom, it's stored. Now um, we can go back to the performance mode. This is our sound, the V. And now we can furtherly shape this sound, this profile. We just go to amplifier in the stack section. The stack consists of amplifier, the EQ and the cabinet. Let's look at the amplifier first. Here we have the preamp definition parameter, which shows us uh, this is just 11%. Uh, that means it's not the ultra old um, vintage architecture of a preamp. It's a little bit more modern, I mean 81. Uh, people had some um, realizations about how the guitar sound can become more smooth and chunky, especially the distorted sound. But we can increase this and by increasing this we go more to a boutique amp-like setting. <laughs> to the next page um, we can add some power sagging which usually is uh, just um, possible with um, uh, high volumes and you can't run a Fender twin amp at home in a residential area the neighbors will kill you this is something you might only be able to feel when you play it for yourself sound. So what else is there? Um, that's uh, basically it. Exit. And now we're back to the normal uh, M controls. We can um, take out a little bit of treble. <laughs> some presence. And have some very nice chunky sound here, but still with the nasal typical Fender um, twin character which is basically what uh, was uh, the, 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 the blueprint uh, for a lot of modern amplifiers. So, that was our original. Our Fender amp. And now we go back to what we just edited. This sound is based 
on the profile from this amp. We took our old amp, got the characteristics, uh, changed some few parameters to our um, taste and uh, presto, we have a new sound. So, uh, this might be enough for this video. Uh, you get the idea, uh, more to come uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, there are effects and a lot of other things which uh, are just incredibly um, comfortable for a modern guitar player. And um, also, don't forget, we see you at NAMM. We take this to 11. Thank you.